And you can sail away. To say Cheyenne Sampson is wise beyond her birthday, Take my apples, boy. does it begin to explain what this seven-year-old put together in the last year? Today, family and friends drove six hours from their home in Washingtonville, New York, to Alexandria, Virginia, to share a message of caring. A year ago, Cheyenne saw the story of a fallen officer on national news. It broke her heart. She found it hard to imagine how Olivia, who was just three months old when her mother, Omaha officer Carrie Orozco, was shot and killed in the line of duty, would grow up without her. I saw the story and I thought that Olivia might be one of the kids who would like their parents reading to them at nighttime or someone reading to them before they go to bed. And make them... Cheyenne told her mother they had to do something for the family but didn't know what. She tapped into her wheelhouse and love of reading. I want teachers, I want my classmates, I want the whole school, right. I want police officers, and I'm going, really? She's like, yes, Mommy, we have to do it. And so it began last September. If you take a mouse to the movies. From the NYPD sergeant surrounded by Girl Scouts to a school principal and Cheyenne herself reading to the camera. Chug, chug, puff, puff, ding, dong, ding, dong. The little train rumbled over the track. More than 250 people, most of them children, created nearly seven hours worth of storytelling video. I think that Olivia's family will put um, it on before she goes to bed and then she'll, she might fall asleep. In a private moment, bedtime stories for Olivia was passed from the Sampsons to the Orozco's. To meet the family today, it was very emotional. Both sides exchanged gifts. Cheyenne showed us the Girl Scout sash that belonged to Carrie as a girl. Now it's hers. For a little girl to come up with this idea and to rally her community. I am too old to swing. If it's up to Cheyenne Sampson one day, Olivia will be a pen pal. The end. Good job. In Alexandria, Virginia, with photographer Jim Hinchick, I'm Brian Mastery reporting, WWT6 News.